Hi, my name is Joe Sanders. I'm the program director for the CT Anesthesiology Fellowship here at Henry Ford. We have two fellows that are exposed to a variety of cases in the structural heart lab, in the cardiac operating room. Uh, these cases are cutting edge in the structural heart lab and the cases in the OR are from something simple as a cabbage uh, to a redo heart transplant to an LVAD to ECMO. If you name it, we have it. We have a group of faculty that are very supportive uh, and give a grade A education to our fellows. Monday afternoons we have our curriculum where we give them a structured curriculum in TE and cardiac anesthesia. There's great teamwork and collaboration in the operating room and there's a safe environment for the fellows to learn on some of the sickest patients in probably in the country. After fellows finish here they can work anywhere after training at Henry Ford. I know this year has been much different because of the COVID crisis and that we may not see you in person, but we hope to interview you and eventually see a few of you here at Henry Ford for a great fellowship. Good morning. Welcome to Henry Ford Department of Anesthesiology, Pain Management and Perioperative Medicine. My name is Michael Lewis and I'm the chair of the department. Thank you for considering our cardiothoracic fellowship program here at Henry Ford Hospital. I know this is an unusual year and normally we will be meeting in person but the circumstances are strange and I still want to thank you for considering us and our great city. I think there's a compelling case to come to us. The type of cases are complex. You will get a superb training in echocardiography, complex cardiac cases, structural heart cases, and exposure to the intensive care unit. We have a very robust educational program and our program director, Joey Sanders, is superb. So thank you for considering us I hope to see you in the near future. Hi, I'm Dr. Trevor Shemansky. I'm a cardiac anesthesiologist at Henry Ford Hospital and the division head of cardiac anesthesia. I uh, want to tell you a little bit about our program here for a fellowship in cardiothoracic anesthesia. At Henry Ford Hospital, we cover uh, a wide variety of complex cardiac cases. We do everything from heart transplants, lung transplants, combined lung liver transplants, uh, mitral valve repair replacement, LVADs uh, to structural heart and uh, we're one of the leading institutions in structural heart procedures. Uh, we do probably the most TAVRs in the state of Michigan uh, and also potentially the most mitral clips in the state as well. We've had the opportunity to participate in a lot of first in human, first in man uh, technologies, procedures uh, with our colleagues in structural heart. Uh, with that experience you'll have a great operating room experience and uh, cath lab experience and we think that's second to none in the state. Uh, the environment here at Henry Ford is one of the best I've worked in. Uh, it's a rare institution where the attending cardiac surgeon knows our residents, our fellows by name. Uh, they take the time to, to learn about them and that builds kind of the cohesive team that lets us function at such a high level in uh, the complexity of cases that we work together on. For our fellows, I think one of the huge advantages of Henry Ford Hospital is we have that diverse case mix, the transplants, the high-risk coronaries, the structural heart, uh, and we do a great volume of that, but we only have two fellows. So our fellows get the opportunity to pick from those cases, they get maximum exposure, uh, they get to design part of their own experience uh, without having to compete with co-fellows, uh, or residents for those cases. So really it's uh, the full diversity of cases, the full complexity of cases, uh, but with a smaller fellowship footprint, our fellows get the volume of cases to really understand how to do uh, a lung transplant and how to do a heart transplant so that when they go off into practice, they're ready, rather than having only seen a couple of them because they've had to share that volume with their co-fellows. Coming from a different residency program and not being and not physically being ingrained here, um, I would like to say that this program brought me in with open arms. Um, it's a very steep learning curve to to do a to do a cardiac thoracic anesthesia fellowship, and uh, the one thing that I've learned here is that you have a huge safety net. Everyone here is here for your education and here for your here for your furthering of knowledge. And uh, at most, you know, the big thing is that there's emotional as well as physical support here. You'll get plenty of that here. Fellowship is meant to be 
another growth. It's supposed to be the, the, the next frontier for you. And this program is very, very good about showcasing just that. So welcome. Um, I, my name is Derek Williams. I'm one of the faculty here in cardiac anesthesia at Henry Ford uh, Hospital. And one of the things that I wanted to um, state about a program is it's a really great program for our fellows. Um, they get a lot of uh, diversity in cases uh, and a nice supportive environment. And um, the call burden and the workload is very manageable. And our fellows leave our program ready to do a wide variety of cardiac cases and they uh, speak very fondly of our program and we're very proud of what we have here here in Detroit. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cialdo. I'm the Director of Educational Programs and the Program Director of the Anesthesiology Residency. I also happen to be a cardiac anesthesiologist and a critical care doctor and I just wanted to tell you how amazing our program is. We have a world-class program that's dedicated to the education of residents and fellows. The clinical complexity and case volume is on par with any of the world-class programs, and I know that firsthand because I come from those places. So we would hope that you guys would give us a chance and come out and look at this program because we will give you everything you need to be an exceptional specialist in cardiothoracic anesthesiology. You will leave Henry Ford absolutely confident and prepared for anything that the world throws at you. Looking forward to meeting you all. Thank you. Um, the first thing that drew me to this program uh, when I interviewed was just the amount of attendings and residents and um, staff that came out uh, just to say hi and uh, hang out with me, get to know, you know how I was doing and where I was from, what I was all about, um, outside of all the medicine uh, that we do. Um, and then, you know, actually being here, um, the biggest thing that was very pervasive was just the amount of teaching that's ingrained um, in the program from the chairman to the program directors to all the attendings even down to um, the first and second year residents you know all of them are teaching the interns and uh, the medical students so it's it's really ingrained and second nature um, and it's really very obvious to see just that the focus here is is on you getting better you getting your education um, and you know the work that has to be done has to be done, but it's it's secondary to your growth as a physician. Hi, my name is Kimberly Nickel. I'm one of the senior staff cardiac anesthesiologists here at Henry Ford. Uh, I've been here for almost a decade at this point in time. Um, I did my residency here, stayed here as a cardiac fellow, and then stayed on as a staff member. Uh, and what really drew me to this program were the cases and the camaraderie. Um, we have a very wide breadth of cases. Um, we do things from your standard cabbages to valves to dissections, ECMO, LVADs, uh, you name it. And I really wanted to come out of my training knowing I had seen uh, as much as I could and got my hands on as many difficult cases as I could uh, before going out as staff. Um, that was important to me. And uh, more than that, though, it was the camaraderie. Uh, we have a really great team here, um, a team that uh, you have no problem and you don't hesitate to call if you need help in the room, and as, even as a staff member. Um, and we genuinely care about each other as people. And that was something I wanted to be a part of for my training, and I'm so glad I stayed on as a staff to continue to be a part of. Um, I'm, I'm really proud to, to be here at Henry Ford. Hello, I'm Jessica Waz. I'm one of the staff cardiac anesthesiologists and attendings in the CVICU. I just recently started here at Henry Ford and I'm very happy to join such a supportive and friendly uh, department. Uh, we have very complex cases here, which I've been very surprised by. Uh, we do a very complex and a large uh, number of structural heart cases, as well as uh, complex valvular and open heart cases, and we provide a lot of mechanical circulatory support devices for patients. So it's great experience for uh, fellows that will be joining us, and they'll get a great uh, echo education as well.